this one here it says a kite is in the shape of a square with diagonal 32 centimeters and an isosceles triangle of base 8 and 6 centimeters. Each is to be made of three different colors as shown. How much paper of each shade has been used in it? We have this kite, this top is a square, this bottom tail is a isosceles triangle where top is a square with diagonal 32 centimeters. This isosceles triangle has a base of 8 and sides of 6. Now, this is a square. Let's take it as A, B, C and D where A, C and B, D they are the diagonals and right here. Since A, B, C, D is a square, we know that diagonals of a square they bisect each other at 90 degrees angle. All right. It means if I take ADB, so I'll write this gives triangle ADB area is equal to half into base. Base can be BD and height can be if I take this point of intersection as say O into AO. So half into BD is 32. AO would be half of AC, which is 16. So this comes to 2 of 6 cm square. Area of triangle ADB would be equal to area of triangle BDC. So this shade will have 256 cm square and this shade will also have 256. So this will be 256 cm square equals to area of BDC. Now let's find out area of this shade or the tail. This is an isosceles triangle. So area of, let's take this as P and Q. Area of triangle CPQ would be, first of all, let's find out semi-perimeter, which is S equals to 6 plus 6 plus 8. 6 plus 6 plus 8 over 2, which is 20 over 2 means 10. So area would be, this can be 4 into 2 and root 5 means 8 root 5 cm square. So this shade or this tail would be 8 root 5 cm square. If we try to break this, root 5 can be, it is 2.24, 8 into 2.24 comes to 17.9 cm square approximately. So you can write it as 8 root 5 cm square or you can break it to 17.9 cm square, same thing. So this shade, this shade and the third shade all 